This tutorial explains how to add a mean or median line to a histogram in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector is appearing with a length of 100 numeric values. And we can print the first six values of this vector to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that our vector object contains different random integer values. Now, if we want to draw a histogram of these values using the basic installation of the R programming language, then we can apply line six of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the hist function to draw a histogram of our vector. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new histogram has been created. And if we now want to add a red line to this histogram, which is showing the mean of our values, then we can use the AB line function, as you can see in lines seven to nine of the code. So within the AB line function, I'm specifying that I want to draw a vertical line. And this line should be shown at the x-axis position where the mean value of our values is occurring. Then I'm also specifying the color to be equal to red and the thickness of our line to be equal to three. So if you run lines seven to nine of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our histogram is updated and this updated histogram shows a red line at the mean value of our input data. In addition to that, we can use the text function, as you can see in lines 10 to 14 of the code, to add a text label to this red line. And we can do that by specifying the x and y axis positions of our mean label. Then we also need to specify the value that we want to add. So in this case, we want to at the text label mean equals to the mean of our data. Then we also want to specify the color of this label and the size of this label. So if you run lines 10 to 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated once again. And this time we have added a text label which is showing the mean value of our data. Similar to this first example, we can also add a median line to our plot. And we can do that as you can see in lines 16 to 24 of the code. So the only thing I'm changing in this example is that I'm using the median function instead of the mean function. So if you run lines 16 to 24 of the code, you can see that another histogram is created. And this time this histogram is showing the median value of our input data. So in this first part of the tutorial, I have explained how to use base R to create a histogram with mean and median values. However, I want to show you another example in which I'm using the ggplot2 package to create such a plot. And in order to use the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package. As you can see in lines 26 and 27 of the code, I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 27 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geom histogram. So if you run lines 29 to 30 of the code, you can see that a new plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can print this plot object to the bottom right of our studio by running line 31 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new histogram is created in this typical ggplot2 style that you might already know from previous videos. Now, if we want to add a mean line to this histogram, then we can use this plot object as basement, and then we can add to this plot object the geomv line function and the annotate function, as you can see in lines 34 to 42 of the code. And within these functions, I'm specifying that I want to add the mean value, I'm specifying the color, the thickness of our line, and I'm also specifying a text label, which shows the text mean equals to our mean. So 
In other words, I'm doing the same as in the first example, however, this time based on the functions of the ggplot2 package. So if you run lines 33 to 42 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that our plot is updated. And in this updated plot, you can see a vertical line at the mean position, and you can see a text label, which is showing the mean value of our input data. Similar to that, we can also create a ggplot2 histogram with median line. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 44 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using exactly the same syntax as in the previous example. However, I'm replacing the mean function by the median function. And I'm also specifying that I want to show a text label which identifies the median. So if you run lines 44 to 53 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time it shows the median line and a text label which is showing the median value of our input data. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.